China on Sunday unveiled a long-awaited proposal for electoral reform in Hong Kong, um, carrying through on a promise to introduce universal suffrage and give voters in Hong Kong one person, one vote for the election of the chief executive, which is the top political job in the former British colony. Um, but a lot of uh, pro-democracy activists and supporters were very unhappy with the decision for the main reason that Beijing has set conditions which make it almost impossible for a pro-democrat, anti-Beijing candidate to get on the ballot for chief executive uh, in two ways. The first way is that um, the candidate for chief executive must have 50% support from a nominating committee, which is composed of mainly Beijing loyalists. And second of all, Beijing has said that only two or three candidates will be allowed onto the ballot. Uh, so pro democracy groups in Hong Kong are very upset. They say this is not real democracy and it's a step backwards. Pro-democracy activists and, and critics of the decision from Beijing on Sunday gathered outside Hong Kong government offices on Sunday night uh, for a protest that probably had about four or five thousand people. Um, they were voicing their opposition to the plan from Beijing. They were also saying that um, a group called Occupy Central, which is a pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong, is planning to go ahead with a civil disobedience movement, which will see them block the central uh, business district in Hong Kong uh, and, and try and shut down part of the city. Um, that is, over the next few weeks, you're likely to see um, little protests building up to, at some point, a full-fledged Occupy Central um, protest, something that the uh, Beijing government is uh, very strongly opposed to. Well, Beijing at the moment is relying on the Hong Kong government to keep control of Occupy Central and any other protests. Uh, they are hoping that the Hong Kong police will be able to keep things under control. But there have been several um, people in the mainland who have suggested that the, the government of Beijing may feel compelled to roll out PLA troops, uh, Chinese military, on the streets of Hong Kong if the protests are not kept under control. And that would be a game changer in this city.